Good morning, folks. We've got a barrage of solar forcing papers today, and they all help us understand a critical concept about our planet and why the magnetic pole shift really matters. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star and find another quiet day. We expect activity to increase next week, and there is a pretty sizable coronal hole incoming on the north. We'll be monitoring closely as the end of the short cycle trough is about due, meaning the sun is expected to get more active as we head into November. Eyes open. Kicking off here, we have an excellent paper describing observed atmospheric electric field variations in the vertical global electric circuit during space weather solar storms. It reaches all the way down to the surface. We have another one here by the legend, Brian Tinsley, describing the induced electric currents and joule heating from solar activity impacting the global electric circuit. Another on the surface temperature fluctuation response to solar activity through the ionospheric electric potential, which of course moves vertically due to the global electric circuit. And we have another one here utilizing the observations of the equatorial electrojet to demonstrate that the solar wind impacts not only the polar region where the aurora are found, but down to the equator as well. It's a global electrical impact from the sun. This is not only left out of all climate models, which means that the real impacts from them are automatically attributed to human activities inappropriately, but it also tells us why the Earth's weather becomes increasingly chaotic during geomagnetic excursions like the one we're entering now. Earth is more electrically vulnerable as space energy more easily penetrates the weaker magnetic field of our planet. This paper blames the increasingly unstable atmosphere on human activities, not surprisingly, as do most modern papers using those incomplete models. But this is tied to the convective atmospheric potential energy, which is closely modulated by the global electric circuit. This paper similarly blames humans for a surge in rapid cyclone intensification when that energy has been shown many times to be related to solar input and, again, the global electric circuit. There isn't a geomagnetic excursion on record that doesn't include these chaotic climate and storm shifts in the geologic evidence, and the papers we got today reinforce the dozens that we've shared before about exactly how the sun takes a larger whack at the earth as the magnetic field begins to weaken. It's the topic of our new book. Pre-order is up now at the link below. Grab one of the first copies off the line, and if you're able to get out to observe a ranch here in the Colorado Springs area next month, we'd love to see you out at the November 18th event. Going to be a good time. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.